are in the 207 kitchen at Omain Studio. I am here with Anna Miller. She is the chef of the Schooner Ladona, which is part of the Windjammers Association. Today we're going to be making lobster jalapeno popovers, which sounds so good. All right, how do we make these? All right, so first of all, I just take some cream cheese, throw that in my bowl. And then I add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, probably about a teaspoon or so. And you did a whole package of cream cheese? Well, one whole package of cream cheese, okay. yes. About a half a cup of cheddar cheese mixed in there. Oof. And then the zest of a lemon of the whole thing. Just kind of like, just put that all in there. Usually Let's adds a nice see. pop, doesn't it? Oh yeah, the freshness in there, definitely. Yep. And then I've got some lobster, which all of the schooners, whichever one you decide to go on for a vacation, everybody gets lobster at some point or another on the nice. trip. So when we have some left over, what I like to do is turn into an appetizer. And so I make these poppers quite often. Mm. So I'll just take apart the tail real quick, chop it up. Oh, you can already smell like whatever's going on in that bowl. This, and it, it smells, smells like summer. So good. <laughs> Yeah, so throw that all in there. And just the Give tail's enough? Uh, the, the ta I usually use the whole thing, but for today, I'm just going to add the tail. All right. But uh, in, in total, about a cup's worth of lobster okay. meat. You can also substitute crab if you prefer crab instead. Okay. Like whatever you want to put in there. So that all gets mixed up. And then I get some jalapenos. And I just cut the ends off of those. Get those out of the way. Cut them in half. And of course, of course, avoid touching your eyes. Yes. <laughs> when you've got these. And with a spoon, just scoop out the ribs and the seeds. You could leave that in there if you want it to be extra hot. Okay. Which I kind of like to do, but you need a little bit of a well to put your filling in there. Okay. Yeah, because it's the seeds, right, that make it yep. mm -hmm. spicy. And the ribs, too. Like, it's a combination of both of those in there. So then, what I do is just kind of put it in oh, there yeah. a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mound mm -hmm. it up. Divide that, that between good. all of your jalapenos. Look at all that lobster meat in mm -hmm. there. You can, you can see it. It looks really good. Yeah. So it just goes right in there. Are these a fan favorite, would you say? Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. It's like you can't make enough of these. <laughs> <laughs> and this is usually just an appetizer. It's like, all right, dinner's coming here, folks. Yeah. And then you put it in a 350 degree oven for about, um, let me think, 20-ish minutes until it gets nice and golden on top and everything gets warmed up. The peppers cook a little bit. Some cheese, some extra Parmesan cheese on top for some color. And then that'll go in the oven. Nice. We'll get that out of the way. So then they, those disappear for a little while and they come back Ooh. looking like that. And then we can throw some parsley on top for a garnish. Oops. Pretty, Once pretty. they come out nice and golden, just a little bit of a sprinkle on top. Look at that. And I'm sure you could probably dip these in something, too, if you wanted to. Probably, yeah. Oh, I don't, I've never thought about that. Mm, That's a great idea, though. Yeah. Love to do that. Maybe an extra squeeze of lemon on top, which might be nice, too. can do that for some extra pop of flavor, just like that. Looking good. All right, yeah. and of course, as always, we will have the recipe, uh, instructions, ingredients, all of that right on the 207 section of our website. We're going to dig into these and we'll be right back.